Today's Bible study is titled, I Speak the Truth and I Lie Not. Speaking the truth appears not nearly as important as it once was done in fact. People don't appear to even value the truth as much as they do their own traditions, comfort, and entertainment. But rightly divided scripture shows that this should not be the attitude and values of the believer. The Apostle Paul continually had to defend his apostleship before believers of his day as often. His enemies accused him of lying as regards his being the apostle to the body of Christ and the message that the risen Lord entrusted him to deliver. Writing to Timothy, his son in the faith, he notes, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. 1 Timothy 2 verses 5 to 7. Let's look at what these verses say. Paul would likely get no argument regarding that there is one God and probably not that the one mediator between God and men is the man Christ Jesus. But what of the truth that Christ gave himself a ransom for all Jew and Gentile in a way that would come to be testified in due time? In Paul's time, this was a matter of frequent disagreement as those who preached the gospel of the circumcision would focus on his coming for his own Israel and their role to in turn be a kingdom of priests to all others. And they would preach this view with the law and the prophets as their reference knowing that this was the part of the new covenant offer of God. To Israel per Jeremiah 31. Paul's gospel, the gospel of the grace of God, rather than being rooted in the law and prophets was instead the preaching Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Romans 16 verse 25. And this gospel was not known until testified in due time by Paul as apostle to the Gentiles. And it is this message to which Paul speaks when he says that he is. Number 1. Ordained a preacher. Number 2. Ordained an apostle. And number 3. Ordained a teacher of the Gentiles. And of this ordination he received from the risen Lord, he says, I speak the truth in Christ, and lie not, and that this was in faith and verity a true assertion. Paul had to make similar assertions to the believers in the Galatian region in Galatians 1 verse 20 saying, Now the things which I write unto you behold before God I lie not. What it comes down to today in this dispensation of the grace of God is whether the members of the church which is his body will read and hear Paul's claims and thereby believe the message Christ instructed him to deliver. Many either do not accept the uniqueness of Paul's call and message or else mix what he was instructed to write to the body of Christ with those that did not have this calling from Christ. Regardless, the result is the same because the truth which was testified in due time by Paul is not given its proper place and import and as a result, the members of the body of Christ are ignorant of who they are in Christ. It all comes down to the individual believer as to whether each will believe the faith, verity and truth of Paul's message or relegate it to lesser import and be diminished thereby. Believer, believe the truth. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.